Ah, oh, here we are. There's the shot. Wow. Well, it's been a month. How you doing? Charlie, nice hey, to see you, man. Let's see, what's under there? Short hair? Yeah, he went with the short summer cut. We're down to it, huh? Yeah, we're gonna pan these off, see what we got. We're back to planking. Yeah, I wanna know how much unusable stuff we have. Well, we got a few. Let's ship it back for a refund. Yeah, right. Well, Renee and Johnny are up here today in episode 52. Oh, and we're talking fabric. We've also polished up, cleaned up this aluminum frame. Oh, and here we go. Here's the finished table. Okay, so this... This will be the refrigerator in there. Were you out there and we didn't see you? Oh, look at the wood pile. Hey, bud. Hey. How you doing? Charlie, nice hey, to see you, man. Let's see, what's under there? Short hair? Yeah, he went with the short summer cut. Uh, look like a hippie. Hippie. <laughs> hippie, look at that. We're down to it, huh? Yeah, we're gonna pan these off, see what we got. We're back to planking. Oh, you know. Actually, it looks like we got more than we need. That's why we're sanding it right now. Yeah. Unusable. Unusable? Yeah, it's just all flat grain. <laughs> Ted, how much, yeah, I want to know how much unusable stuff we have. Well, we got a few. Let's ship it back for a refund. Yeah, right. We're lucky to get what we got with those guys, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. All right. See this one here? It's a nice piece of wood, but it swirls over there. See it? Yeah. So when you go to bend that, it could... I mean that swirl right in the middle? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you want a six foot flank, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> Got one out of it, didn't we? Yeah, one. I think we got one <laughs> out of each one of these. Yeah, don't carry it up. All right, well, Renee and Johnny are up here today in episode 52. Oh, and we're looking, we're talking fabric. Fabric. Okay. All right, so there's the first look on video of the installed new veneer. See what a beautiful job they did. Great concept by Renee. We've also polished up, cleaned up this aluminum frame. Not very nice. And moving forward. So and here we go. Here is the laminate installed. Looks great. Great, so that's, that's how the new little, little shelf unit have a little bit more storage there for us. All right, and the closet's out, and we just have... All right, so we're looking at all the different colors here on the well, swatch. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out the fabric that we're going to put on the upholstering, and what I like about this choice is, one, it's a, it's a sun fabric, um, but also we've got all these different colors going on, and I think this kind of helps blend um, all the colors in and make it look like it was intentional. Right. Because <laughs> this looks a little, I mean, to keep it natural, it looks pretty yellow, a little, little, um, a little yellowy. Too new. It looks yeah, like well, it's, it's, like, gonna, it's gonna darken well, over but time. But it looks like it, it, came, it came from a different party. It's like, well, what is that doing there? Like, if I were part of it, I would paint it, but. Paint it white. Just so it goes away. Right. But if, if we're keeping well, it. Open think, the cabinet doors. But if we're keeping it. 
you know, which I guess we are. I mean, that kind of brings the gold color in there, you know. And yeah. It kind of makes it look like we intended. Well, it's, there is that gold, the stripes on there. Yes. No, I see that. Yeah. So that's helpful. Well, to tie it all together. It all makes sense. Yeah. But this was that I was I was concerned if it was going to work with this or not, and I think it does. Definitely. Definitely. Okay. Excellent. So there are some trim pieces. I see a nice thing. Yeah. Yeah. There's more stuff been done than, than I was looking. For. See the nice trim is back in. There, um, I'm thinking that, you know, before you set up your bunk for the evening, during the day, if you're just going out for a day sale, it might look really nice just to have this fabric in here as well. It as would. In the, it would. In the um I think you're right. We should do and, it. And even up front. I mean, I kind of think, you know, but it's a, it's, so it just kind of looks really <coughs> clean and cohesive. Definitely. And, you know. Definitely. Hi, how are you? Howdy. You like the veneer? I love it. You did a really good job. I knew you could do it. <laughs> yeah, a little perseverance. I think, you know, dedication and perseverance. And you know what? This all worked out fine. Yeah, we still can sand it with some 220 pounds to clean yep, it up. Yep, yep. Shot some clear coat on it. That looks it good. It. it looks great. It's very, very nice. I like the, the warm color. Yeah, I'm glad. Now, has this one been uh, Smith uh, and varnish as well? Yeah, everything's got two coats of soaked coats of varnish on it. Great. Which is enough. It's just a question if you want more. And do we going to put this room back together, or now wait until uh, the wiring's done? Well, we're planking now. You're planking now. Okay. And the reason is both Dave and both we and Dave got to a point to work. You put it together and then you take it apart because it's in the way. Yeah, so here we go, right? Yeah. All right. Like all this is done, you know, the faces and the doors down here. Yeah. So basically it's in, in except for a couple things in the saloon, it's basically in kit form. So. In kit form. Okay, great. Oh, and here we go. Here's the finished table. Okay, so this... There's going to be the, the, the refrigerator in there. Freezer. Yeah. And you see, here's our refrigerator here on this side. If, if you have the cushions that fit, now, now maybe the, the berth cushions, if it's been changed, they don't fit exactly, but they were up there, so they're yeah. good enough to bring yeah. to, to, to size them, and right. so, so we have some idea. Right. Because I'm just shooting in the dark, and you know, oh, well, it costs you $10,000 to pull through it. It's like, yeah. really? Yeah. yeah, you know. It was only going to take six months until we were back in the water. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, sure, uh -huh. sure. Yeah. So this might be out of print. Six months, yeah. It might be, you know, it might, it might be. be. Yeah. Yeah. And then when we buy this, what, what I'll buy is I'll buy it. I'll buy extra yardage, yeah. more than what I do, yeah, in case I make a mistake, right. and then you get it, because in case somebody burns a hole in your cushion, you see what I'm saying, that's always thinking. I'm just going to see. But if you could bring me the cushions, oh, yeah, yeah. We stack them up in the shop, and then I can measure so on and so forth, and I can give you the, I could give you the if you want all new foam, I give you the, the foam, I give you everything, and then if you have something that can supply that, you supply it. I give you the labor less that I give you, and then if you decide to do the vinyl down the back of the cushion and underneath, yeah. So you use half as much of that. I can figure that all up, figure my zipper and everything, and say, okay, it looks like it's going to cost you in this range. This was right. about going to be. Right. All right, so you're starting course number 18, right? Yes, we're gonna do it in three, it'll be three planks. First one's gonna be 15 feet long, right about through there. Nice. <clears throat> and uh, that's the first one to 15. We've got our water line marked on here, you can't really see. We made okay. a jig for that. Okay. So you know when to stop, stop and start the caulking bevel below the water line. So this one will probably be edge glued all the way to here, and then the talking bed will start right in here. All right, well, we're going to come back up next week. So hopefully we'll see uh, this first this first one cut and mostly oh, fitted yeah. in. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Great, great. Well, we're back to planking. We're going to be spiling. We today. need to get a new plank count. <laughs> right, we got these little marks here. What do they mean? These are our frame lines. So when we're planking, we know the angle of the frame. You can kind of see that as a quick reference. We do it all the way down. Yeah and then bolt, screw, 
So up here we're gonna have a bolt and then down here a screw because there's a cut off rivet that's behind the framing that wasn't we'll be able to remove. Um, uh, right, I see the head of that yeah. bolt is behind the, uh, the long longitudinal. Yeah, so this right here we'll be able to drill all the way through. Gotcha. And then like, say this one right here. If you now can couldn't see. you just drill, right, go all the way through the longitudinal, even here, just like bypass this that? This one will be a screw. Okay. So there'll be a screw at an angle biting in there really okay. good and that'll be bolted. This will be two bolts, but since this bolt here comes out behind this framing, we made a jig right here. Okay. And what we do is we line it up, line it up with the hole that way and with the hole this way, straight in, we make a mark so when this plank's on, we just put this jig on our marks Draw a line there and a line there, and where it intersects, ah, we take a drill you know, bit. Yeah, you know exactly where it's supposed drill, to go. And we can stick our hands up in here and get the nut on there and tighten it. Beautiful. We've done that in a lot of spots, and also on these these small. Um, you can see these frames on the bulkheads here; they're only like an inch wide. And to drill out there, you can't really do it. You'd come out at an angle way over here. So we did the same thing on these. Ah, I see to make the whole jig. Anywhere that's behind Let's framing. See, hold that up to the camera there, whole jig. Whole jig. Whole <laughs> jig. And you can see how it lines up there and there. And that'll shoot that hole behind this frame. Sweet. Yeah, just getting to this point, the last couple of days, all we've been doing is marking and getting everything in order so we can get our heads back in and getting some wood on this boat. Yeah.